I've been outside trying to charge some batteries and I noticed that um, my battery charger is acting real weird and it kind of just it's not acting like it should. Plugging it in now. And that's on 6 volt. So I only have one and a half volt coming out. Now I got on 12, and there's only two volts coming out of it. I mean, it sounds horrible. Uh, I have the lid removed, and there's the transformer. It's pretty simple inside, there's not much to it. Um, there is a I'm not sure what they call it. A, uh, it's called a short stop, and it's supposed to. Well, basically, it's a circuit breaker. If if anything should happen, uh, voltage feed back into it. It's supposed to break the circuit so it doesn't damage your transformer. And that little short time, that thing has gotten pretty warm. I mean, it shouldn't even be like that in just that few, you know, seconds. But obviously, there's something wrong. So, uh, so I see the leads coming off the bottom there. I'm not sure if you can get a good look at, it, but there's the two leads, and they go into this heat sink, and then there's that nut that bolts it to the short stop, okay, or the breaker. And between there is the is what you can see. It's like a piece of plastic. It's right here, and the two leads go to this. So there is a problem between here between the transformer and the circuit breaker. If um we unplug it and the noise goes away then that'll tell me it's probably a problem right here maybe but I'm gonna take a chance and see and plug it in and see if it makes that horrendous noise so I'm gonna plug it in right now now it sounds normal I mean that's on 12 volt high And I mean everything sounds cool. It's just it's not even vibrating like it was before. Each of these tabs behind there is a small disc and they're called a rectifying diode. And the diodes in there are rated for 50 amps, which is um, I believe the maximum for a battery charger. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take these diodes out. Okay, I've um, taken the the heat sink, and now there is there's a diode there, and there's a diode there. Um, don't know which one's bad, so I'm going to take them out. Okay, so I have the. Um, the heat sink and the diodes and I just have to push this down and put this this nut on there put this nut back on there to connect it to the circuit breaker we'll tighten it down And then we're going to uh, check our voltage and see if it takes care of it. All right, so we have the diodes in and the heat sinks back in place. Um, I have it on uh, 12 volt setting on two amps. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see if it uh, takes care of it. So I'm going to plug it in right now. Well, that's 12 volt low. 
there's 12 volt high and there's 6 volt so seems like it's working pretty good it's um it's not making that noise either if you could tell you notice it's not humming real loud or vibrating so that took care of it and we have a good um, reading which is 12 and a half volts so there you have it next time if you ever have a problem with one of these small battery chargers and it just stops working on you there's a possibility if it's not the transformer okay I've already unplugged this by the way if it's not the transformer and if your battery charger looks like this to where it has this heat sink and in behind it it has the there's a plastic um, plastic retaining I don't know what you want to call it something that holds the diodes in um, you know possibilities are that there's a diode that's bad just like this one and uh, it might need to be replaced um, you can find these online possibly on eBay um, you know just go and do a search for a 50 amp button diode and um, make sure when you put them together when you you know replace it put it back in the same way that it came out so you don't burn the transformer up but uh, otherwise I'm pretty happy with it and they're not very expensive whatsoever I think they're about I paid eleven dollars for ten of them ten of them button diodes so if I ever have a problem again um, I'll have plenty of spares and hopefully it won't be the transformer or any of that but it, you know this is a very simple battery charger so it's um you know there's, it's not hard to work on but the companies never tell you how to you know, they don't want you to work on their stuff they want you to send it back and they charge you money and everything so so this fix cost me twelve dollars in my time so um, next time you run into a problem like that or if you have one of these battery chargers and it doesn't work anymore and it makes that humming noise and it's really loud it just sounds like there's something wrong and if you have a heat sink like that then more than likely maybe it could be the diodes that are in there that are no good or it could be your circuit breaker that's um, bad but either way you can find these items online and uh, do the repair yourself so anyway thanks for watching and uh, till next video I'll see ya